Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Panini Prism Football. Five box, random team break number five. This is a mega box edition. Right here. And last year's draft class, 2019. Big thanks to these folks for getting into it. Now one spot gets you two teams, so let's uh, double up uh, uh, your spots. All 32 are in. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a two, six times for each list. One. And sixth and final time. After six, we got Martin down to Nick Stober. And four and two, six times for the teams. And sixth and final time. After six, we've got the Cleveland Browns all the way down to the Washington football team. All right, so Martin with the Cleveland Browns, Patrick with the Vikings, Rob with the Texans, Patrick with the Jets, Chad with the Jags, Rashid with the Colts, Matthew with the Rams, Patrick with the Saints, Martin with the Bears, Rob with the Lions, Rashid with the Giants, Seahawks, and Bengals, Rob with the Eagles, Matthew with the Broncos, uh, Matthew G with the Broncos, Matthew H with the Patriots, Rashid with the Bills and the Chiefs, Nick with the Niners and Packers, Rashid with the Steelers, Nick with my Raiders, Chad with the Chargers, Nick with the Buccaneers, Rob with the Cardinals, Patrick with the boys, Rashid with the Dolphins, and Nick with the Panthers, Chad with the Falcons and the Titans, Matthew with the Ravens, and Nick Stover with the Washington football team. Let's get all this on one page. Let's sort by column B by team. And we're gonna pause the video and we're gonna uh, we're gonna pause the video, allow for a little bit of trading time. And when we come back, we'll see if there's any trades and then the break. Stick around. Hi, right, welcome back couple trade offers for the Cardinals, but no deals were done here on Tuesday the 20th, 10, 2020. Big thanks to everybody here for getting into the action. Remember, this is the 2019 draft class, so we're looking for, for last year's rookies and hopefully current stars. And I'm also looking for my knife. It's unbelievable. I guess we'll... I could have sworn I had it right in this my pocket. Put it somewhere else. I was curious. Anyway, looking for last year's stars, last year's rookies and future stars, we're hoping. Let's open a couple of Another great week of NFL in the books. I was able to enjoy the weekend with stress free because my my Raiders were on a bye. So I, I got to watch football stress free. Anything exciting happen over the week? Yeah. Did you see that that Titans game? Texans Titans were were Vrabel did something very interesting. Towards the in the somewhere in the fourth quarter, he he had he forced a twelve men on the field penalty to give the other team the first down more quickly, so they don't run a play and takes time off the clock. It was kind of brilliant, and they they needed that extra time because they eventually tied it, went to overtime, and won the game. What's that? Second time he's done it. Second time he's done it. Some sort of some sort of clock management wizard, Vrabel. So. Last time also ended up with a win. Um, I thought Joe Burrow was going to get a second win, but second win. But the uh, Colts stormed back. Falcons scored ten points in each quarter. Ended up with forty points. New coach bump, new coach win. Broncos surprising the Patriots. 
That was interesting. Right, right. The Titans did that whole delay of game thing against the Pats, too. Yeah, he's clever. I thought the Browns were going to be more competitive against the Steelers, but I think Baker looked a little banged up, and Steelers just smoked the Browns. Carolina almost came back. They had 10 points in the fourth quarter, and they were looking for more. Just didn't quite finish it. Well, it's some, uh, you know, I think... Fitzpatrick got banged up a little bit, right? Because two is starting, ladies and gentlemen. I know this is last year's draft class, but if you get into any of our 2020 football breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com, the Tua hunt it could could be could be intensifying because now he's getting his first start much earlier than I thought he would. But there you go, Buccaneers smoke the Packers too. points. We're going to randomize that to one person in the break. Winner take all on the points if there happens to be more. Steelers, that's right, JMS. Steelers and Titans this Sunday for control of the AFC. That should be a good matchup. We'll see AJ Brown in action. Titans, that'll be for Chad I. There's a Daniel Jones rookie card. They they got a win. I think they edged edged out the, the yeah, they, they, they beat the uh, Washington football team, 20 to 19. New York football giants, Rashid with that one. Make subs thinking they're starting to it because they, they possibly have a trade offer for Fitz Magic in the pipeline, interesting. Just accumulating even more draft picks? Who would their backup then be? Blue stuff there. And there's a green pulsar, Chris Jones. That is not numbered, but I think yeah, I think these are exclusive to this to this set though. This that goes to the Chiefs, that'll be for Rashid. Oh, is that what happened? Rivera went for two rather than the tie in regulation. I would. Let's go for that. Go for those W's. They were going to be a playoff team anyway, right? So might as well just have a little fun. Go for it. There's Josh Jacobs, rookie. He's on expiring contract, and all the and with all the there's few contenders without a decent backup. Interesting. There's Josh Jacobs for my Raiders. That's going to go to Nick Stober. And there's Patrick Peterson for the Cardinals. Good game for the Cardinals last night. Rob with Patrick Peterson. You think Fitz, so because of, of the pandemic and all that, McSub is saying there's a fair amount of teams without a decent backup. So maybe we're thinking that that Fitzpatrick or Flacco ends up going to Green Bay to back up Aaron Rodgers. Interesting. I need a label. I'm just gonna reach under here. Just for a label. Patrick Mahomes. And there's David Long, cornerback, Green Pulsar Auto, Rams. That'll be for Matthew Hedges. Steelers interested in Haskins. That's, apparently that's the rumor JMS is saying. Steve, yeah, Haskins. Haskins, that, that's a good environment for Haskins, right? He's got a, a lot of weapons. He can marinate behind Ben Roethlisberger for a couple seasons. Washington can get some draft picks. Yeah, there's Mahomes. Washington get some draft picks and maybe re retool, rebuild that team. And the Rams kind of laid an egg, didn't they? I 
thought I thought they were going to be better against the Niners. Folks, I, I'm back to back to just I'm no longer a football genius, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I did not win the pool this week, so back to being normal. Chiefs, solid win over the Bills. I think some some timely, untimely turnovers from the Bills maybe did them in at the end. Yeah, what a I thought I thought the Cowboys were gonna be be pretty competitive. But they only put up ten points. I thought Andy Dalton was gonna be more than serviceable. But that was a bad I mean the momentum was just Zeke put the ball on the ground a couple times. Those I think those fumbles led to points, so that wasn't good. And then that just threw off that that entire that entire night. They did not look good. And we already knew the defense was banged up, so the Cowboys' defense was banged up, so they needed that uh, that offense to really really go. I guess losing Zach Martin, their offensive lineman. An all-pro offensive lineman. Losing him wasn't wasn't good. I think concussion protocol. So that wasn't good. Not not not, not a very good day at the office for Dallas. When's the NFL trading deadline? Soon. Who wins the NFC, uh, NFC least, says JMS. I don't know. Yeah, the, the, you might see a 7-9 and nine team get in. There's Caleb Wilson, Green Pulsar, which hasn't happened since the Seahawks one year in the NFC West advanced with a 7-9 and nine record into the playoffs, got a playoff spot. We've got a Marquise Blair, Neon Pulsar, Neon Green Pulsar autograph for the Seahawks. Seven and nine is a stretch. Well, they still have to play each other a number of times, right? So someone's got to win those games. Those are those are W's right there, unless they tie, I guess. But those are those should be W's somewhere for the in division games. Nice DK Metcalf rookie card. November 3rd is the NFL trading deadline. Now, usually, traditionally, the trading window for the NFL isn't terribly exciting because uh, so, so much work need, ha, has to happen. Here's more points right here. has to happen in the preseason for them to really kind of understand the language of their playbooks and whatnot. But McSub thinks I think it might be like baseball this year. Team trying to get vets on expiring deals, especially since, you know, a COVID outbreak on a team could could turn a team sideways rather quickly. So yeah, maybe. There's Rocky Asin, Gardner Minshew rookie. Gardner Minshew rookie card going to Chad and the Jaguars. And Rocky Asin will go to Rashid and the Blue Horseshoes. Next one. Well, here's the thing. For the NFC East, I, I feel like it's not going to be the Giants or the, the Washington football team. 
So it's really going to come down to it's really going to come down to if the Cowboys can get wins together because they still have that strong offense. Maybe patch up that defense a little bit. They may be able to get some get 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 a decent run going and maybe win that division. But yeah, I mean, but there's the Eagles too. They're a little banged up as well. I don't know how how long Miles Sanders is going to be out. I think he was knocked out of the game, right? But they're one four and one. But like few wins here and there, a little momentum here and there, and then they're they're right back in it. I mean Eagles play the Giants next. That has to be a win. Then they play the Cowboys. They should they, they need to win that if they want to stay relevant. And then they play the Giants again. That could be three wins right there. Then at Browns, which is tough. Versus Seahawks, tough. At Packers, tough. Versus Saints, tough. At Cardinals, tough. And then they close the season at Dallas and hosting Washington. So another two divisional games right there that, that they probably need need to be must wins. They could steal a game from some of those other games that they, the other tough matchups that they have. There's a Jared Stidham rookie card. Matthew Hedges with that one. More Patrick Mahomes for the Chiefs, Rashid. Anthony Johnson is your rookie autograph for the Buccaneers. What a win for the Buccaneers. I was on Packers all the way. I thought coming out of a bye, big Rodgers, Brady showdown. I was totally wrong. Nick Stober with the Buccaneers here. Bucks defense really came through. Another Anthony Johnson, no ink this time. Green Pulsar. Another one for Nick. Ooh, nice. You got your Garter Minshew Green Pulsar out from this product from a Panini Redemption yesterday, finally. There you go. These do look nice. Sub Rex, what's going on? So JMS is thinking we're, we're looking at a 6 9 and 1 or a 6 and 10 to win the NFC East. Yeah, something like. Could it really be that bad? Here's a Nick Bosa rookie. Guess we'll see him back next year. Didn't Miles My Gaskin have a decent game yesterday? Are the Dolphins? Do Dolphins have playoff aspirations in their head? Is that crazy talk? Dolphins are three and three. They are well in the hunt. Just one game behind the Buffalo Bills. All right, so th hey, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Well, I have points to randomize. The Jets would probably trade anyone for a bag of chips as mix up. I mean, probably. Just get those, keep accumulating draft picks at, at this point, I suppose. That's what I would do. All right, let's roll it. Let's randomize it. One in a five, six times. Name on top after six. One, two, three, four, five. And six. Right, extra playoff team this year too, JMS. That's right. Uh, after six times, one in a five. Well, hey, stick with us, folks. Break football all season long with us. And we'll talk football all season long with you too. Uh, winner of the points is Nick Stober. There you go. Two 250 points cards going your way. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.